initially, I had a lot of uncertainty um, about it and what exactly is happening and how long it would go on for. Um, I think being a foreign national um, in another country, you do have a bit of, um, I would say, a bit of fear. But I think as a whole, though, the experience has been really positive. Um, I've had a lot more time, um, which has given me time to actually just slow down because I'm not having to commute to work every day uh, because I'm working remotely. And um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's maybe because I'm usually really, I would say my lifestyle is pretty much fast paced, like I'm up and going to getting done, going to work and coming home. And I also, I'm studying part time, so I'm doing my master's in engineering. And um, yeah, it's, it takes up a lot of time. So yeah, this time has been, it's been a blessing and I've been, I've been making so much good progress that um, I can only be appreciative and grateful of this time. Personally, um, I'm very much, I would say, career driven, and that's been a very big focus for the last couple of years. And I have neglected my my physical and well being. So I think it's given me the chance to get back there, um, focusing on my health. And I started walking and running, which has been great. I mean, getting out and getting fresh air, you don't realize like how important that actually is. And it gives you, um, I'd say, initially, I, I was hesitant because you're like no you don't have time or it's going to make you tired but it's actually giving me more energy <laughs> which is surprising mm. because you think it's going to make you tired um but you actually you feel really good uh, i must say it's been it's been rewarding in that sense so yeah i think the first one is to constantly seek knowledge and um gain more understanding of what you're doing whether it's professionally or in your life it's it's just i think we have access to so much more information than we had before i mean the second thing is i would say to create goals or to set goals for yourself i think it it provides a guide and a direction in your life that i don't think anything else does because usually you can go about just doing what you're doing every day every month every year but without creating goals to aspire to you I, th I think at least that sometimes it, it creates a plateau where um, people feel stuck they're not just in your career or professionally but also in your personal life so whether it is that you want to be more fit or you want to eat healthier um, I think it's it's important to yeah think about think about saving goals and the third thing I would say is probably uh, seek a mentor or mentors or find a role model someone that you aspire to be like. Um, it doesn't have to be professionally. Maybe it's just someone that's doing great things in the world or they're making a positive contribution to society and you aspire to, to perhaps do the same. Or they are in, in a career that you'd like to, to be in one day. Um, I would say connect with people. We're afraid to reach out to people, but we don't realize we all need that human connection. and. At the end of the day, I would say this person is actually a positive inspiration for you. And I mean, I think the last thing I would say is to be adaptable and be agile always because the world is constantly changing. Like, um, I think there's so many things around us that, that's moving. And even with this pandemic, we um, you, you look at the world differently. You, you can't help but look at the world differently. And I think even look at yourself differently and think about how you view things or how you view things before or maybe what you prioritize now versus what you prioritize before um, so yeah I think it's important when the opportunities come when the challenges come um, it's good to be able to change to adapt to that new situation and I'm not saying change who you are but maybe just think about it differently or have a new perspective um, on what's happening around you because I always believe in looking at the positive in everything. So I'd say I'm a bit of a optimist in that regard. Um, it, it, it does help to, to have a positive view, a positive view about not only the world, but also people. So always giving people the benefit of the doubt. First thing, or professionally at least, I would say I took a leap of faith a year and a half ago to move to Ireland uh, from South Africa and to live and work in Ireland. 
I think professionally, it's it's a great opportunity. It's it's such a, um, I think being in another country gives you a completely different perspective of your own country. It's so strange. Like you you see things that you actually took for granted when you were there or back home that um, you might not have access to, or that's just different. So, um, and it takes a lot of, I would say, it, it seems like it's a lot of fun when people move abroad to, to work and live, but um, you still have to do the regular things. You still have to buy groceries, you still have to pay the bills and things. So um, it's still hard work, but besides that, you in a different country and you, you are you what I call an expat. So uh, you always see things different, different to the locals. When I read this question, I was like, 15 minutes is too little time. <laughs> but um, I think, that, so these two things are very, very close to me, but I, I think the one big thing is probably uh, sustainability. I, during my master's research, I've been looking at sustainable construction, but it's, it's taken me down the sustainability path as a whole. And I think I would sort of uh, develop a call to action for everyone, not just change makers or decision makers or policy makers you know the people that can that usually influence these things i would i would call on everyone yourself myself engineers people anyone really to to think differently about how we consume products and resources and how we are developing the world around us because climate change is real i wish there was more that the world did uh, especially the billionaires of the world whether it's organizations or individuals to, to financially contribute to to making an improvement because I do feel that in that case money can actually improve their lives and it might not I think also a lot of the times we think oh just throw money at the problem but I don't think we're doing enough um, and there is more that can be done so I think personally as well even ourselves or yourself if there's something you feel that you can do differently like recycle your plastics or use less plastics or consider eating more plant-based meals um, I think it's it's a step towards right direction, and a lot of the times people say, um, "Yeah, but it's just me. Like, what difference can I make?" But I think if we, if a lot of people do it, it will ultimately make a big change. I, I believe in the sort of the culmination of all the little things is actually what will change things ultimately. So yeah. Mm-hmm.